Hi everybody, Mark here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com and in this video I want to talk uh, in a continuation of uh, a recent video we did on some water quality parameters. Today I want to talk a little bit more in depth about pH. pH is basically a measurement of hydrogen ions in the water and the way that this is measured you'll typically see what's called a pH scale. In, in its fullest context you'll see the numbers range from zero all the way up to 14. Zero being uh, completely acidic, uh, 14 being alkaline. And in the middle of all of this is 7.0 which is considered neutral. Now for all intents purposes, for pond owners, you're going to be working or wanting to work within a range of uh, somewhere between 6.0 and 9.0. Ideally, you're going to be fairly close to neutral, someplace in the neighborhood of 7.0 to maybe 8. 8.5 at the most. That's ideal. That's a good working range. As you get below 6.0 on this scale, you risk having problems uh, of water quality in the pond. Your fish may be gasping for air. As you get down to 5.5 and 5.0, they may run into major problems and you may uh, see issues with, uh, with a loss of fish. Same thing goes on the high side. As you get up above 9.0, 9.5, even near 10, uh, alkaline conditions can cause issues where ammonia uh, is intensified, the toxicity of ammonia is intensified, and so you can run into problems there too. Bacteria, which we use a lot to help balance out ponds, is uh, ideally suited to neutral pH ranges, and that's why we send out test strips with uh, our products when, when folks are going to work biologically with their pond. We want to see a good workable range, some, somewhere around 6.8 to 7.5 is ideal. But as we, as we work within the 6.0 to 9.0 range, uh, I'd call that workable. If we get outside that range, most bacteria won't work well at all. So it's a very important consideration for us. Uh, should you adjust pH to make it perfect? In my opinion, no. Uh, pH will fluctuate throughout a 24-hour period in, in your pond every single day. It's going to fluctuate, and uh, that's just part of the natural process. But if you consistently find it high or low, you will want to adjust it. To bring it down from a high number, you would add a light acid to, uh, to the pond. To bring it up, you would add a, an alkaline substance, something like lime. There are pH adjusters to use if you need to do this. But generally speaking, again, if I'm not outside of those parameters, um, I'm really not too concerned about it. I work with what nature gives me for the most part. If you do need to adjust, though, you can do that. Uh, one note I'll make as, you, as we talk about adjustments, if you have fish and you begin to adjust this number down, you want to do so very, very gradually. Follow label directions on the product that you're using. Usually they'll tell you that you don't want to adjust it very much at all each day and, and you work down gradually to that point. Concrete ponds, concrete structures that hold water, fountains, things like that, oftentimes if they are not sealed, they will leach lime uh, from the concrete, limestone is used to make concrete, and they can leach lime. Lime is alkaline, and therefore it will raise pH. And so, unless the pond is sealed, uh, you may have a problem, and it doesn't do any good to continue to try to adjust this pH down because you're just fighting a, a never-ending battle. I'm not in favor of consistently trying to adjust pH if it's consistently off the charts. You need to look for other ways to help manage your pond. Source water can also be affected, and when you, uh, when you pull source water that might be relatively alkaline and put it into a pond, it's okay to work and adjust that down or allow the natural processes to bring it into line. That's a workable solution, too. So so uh, pH is a very important topic that we could discuss. We'll talk in the next video about uh, increasing the buffering capacity of your pond so that your pH swings won't be that wide. That's what can really stress fish. And uh, we'll talk more about that soon. So thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments about pH, put those below the video. And we'll see you again very soon. Take care.